Okay, now we've gotten our first liner side fastened down to that side of the trough. We're going to fasten this side of the liner to this side of the trough. So Jason, if you can help me, we're just going to pull the liner over a little bit. Go get that in. We're just going to pull the liner over a little bit like this. Trying to get the big wrinkles out of it. Just like that. We just want it sitting in the trough in the center. Now, I'm directly across from the staples I put in on the middle. On the other side, I'm in the middle of the trough this way. And I'm going to pull this up like this. Now, how do I know where to staple it in? I'm going to show you something. See this? Okay. See that wrinkle I just pulled in? This is wrong. I'm going to pull a wrinkle in from the other direction. Okay. If it looks like this, don't staple it down. How it's going to look... Could you help with that, Jason? It's going to look like this. This middle section from about six or eight feet is going to be completely smooth and without wrinkles. Usually, where it just naturally falls and lines. But that's how you check it. If you see a wrinkle going out from this either direction, don't staple it down. See if you can pull the wrinkle out. When you get it looking as good and flat as you can possibly get it, we're going to do exactly the same thing we did on the first side. We're going to put eight staples in. Thank you, Larry. Right in the middle. Now, we do the same thing we did on that side. We go to the end. We don't worry about wrinkles out here. We simply pull it tight the same way we did on the first side. Staple it right at the edge. Like that. And again, just like we did on the other side, we go to the middle. There's staples there, there's staples there. We go right in the middle between the two. We push this edge so that it's even with the edge of the 2x4. We put a staple. We go in the middle of that staple and then push the edge so it's even with the edge of the 2x4. Staple. Staple. Middle. In the middle between each one of these. Staple. And then when you've got it stapled like this, throw a staple in about every eight inches or so. Again, I've got a section here, unsupported, middle, even with the edge, one like that, like that, and staple, staple, staple. Big long section here that's unsupported, middle, make the edge with the edge, staple, <coughs> middle between there and there. Like that. Middle. Now we're going to do exactly the same process with the other half of this. So we're going to cut the tape here. Just know you have to do the same with the other side. Larry, if you could just pan down there and look at that. And we're going to do the same thing. 